Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another headlamp review, this time on a Street Cat STOT. Now I was contacted by this company, they do have an Amazon store, comes in this box, and let's wait no further, let's open this up and see what's in. Now it does come with the cells here, and uh, I did test and review these. Uh, these are unfortunately only about 1700 milliamps each, but in any case, I'm going to use them in my tests here. So all in all, pretty basic. Um, you can get a lot better quality cells if you want better run times, as well as maybe some protected cells would might be good interest in you. Comes with the micro USB charging cable comes with that wall adapter and we'll go ahead and take a look at the light now this didn't come with any kind of instructions or a booklet or a manual or anything like that so now this comes already with everything you need with the cells and the battery so this is more of a kit so we're gonna go ahead and show you the now this is a zoomable light so this is more of for flood as well as a uh, throw now as you can see it does zoom in here and these are LEDs on the side they're gonna give you more of the flood while you're able to zoom in using this Feels like a high impact plastic. Housing here feels like it's aluminum here. It's got some adjustments here to where you can aim that. It's got a strap on the top of your head. This is a battery compartment to hold your batteries in. And it does have the USB charging port there on the bottom of that. Now, what's interesting about this light, uh, different than other ones that I have, is that this has a sensor. So once the lights go out, the light will automatically come on. If you are going into the house and the lights are on in the house, this is automatically going to shut the light off in case you forget. And right when you go back out into the dark or the lights go dim enough, this light will come on again automatically on whatever setting you had it on. Okay, so feels pretty, pretty solid here. This is the high impact plastic again. Strap feels pretty good quality. The overall comfort. Now this is curvature of your head. Um, sometimes these aren't the most comfortable for me. But uh, in any case, should provide some easily adjustable length for whatever size your head may be okay so let's go ahead and put the batteries in I'm not going to be using the cells that it came with I'm going to be using a set of EFES batteries that I have these are 2000 milliamps um, but they are an unprotected cell and I've had some really good run times with these so this is what I'm going to use in this test and it should be able to get the best light output that this can provide. Of course, they all go in the same direction. And this is just a rubber flap here that goes over the batteries here. Like so. And we're going to go ahead and go through the user outputs. Now, the power button's right up here. And as you can see, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And as you can see, it's got a big flood rounded spot, pretty typical of your zoomable lights. Does have a little bit of a halo here, as you can see, and I'll show you here. When you actually pull this out, it's more of a red light see through here for more visibility. And then, of course, zoom that back in in any case we're going to go to the next light output 
and now you have just the floodlights and as you can see they're more floody as you can see there a little bit of a spill there now I'm gonna turn all of them on and as you can see once you have those two you've got a complete three spots for best throw show you that on the table here on how that's going to go about so it'll be interesting to see how it does outside in any case that's a lot of light coming out of that then of course you can just go through the light outputs got strobe and then if you turn it off afterwards now okay now that you saw how it slowly dims now if you look at the lights I'm gonna cover up the sensor here and as you can see they'll slowly start to come on as I cover that now remember all you're gonna do now what you want to do if you want to uh, get back to the sensor option you're gonna press and hold this until it slowly turns off now the sensor is on you can turn it slowly comes on there pretty neat and of course you do have the LED on the back which is really good because if you're if you are uh, hiking or something people can see behind you and kind of keep an eye on you in any case I like this feature it's kind of neat to be able to have that automatic come on and you can do that on any of the lights if you want to do it on all three you just press and hold that all three of them will dim and of course you have all three sensor is right here on the top of the battery pack and if you want so definitely a a really neat feature to be able to have this and automatically come on when you go into the dark and it slowly comes on to the brightness slowly goes back down really nice neat feature so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Now we've got this all turned off. So let's go ahead and take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the street cat headlamp. And I notice this is pretty light on the front. It's not real heavy like some of the other ones that I have, which is nice. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And remember, it's very floody beam on here usually making sixty five feet there on that tree and of course just a huge floodlight beam now there is a little bit of a halo here as you can see down there so can't wait to see all the lights on because in my first testing it was pretty impressive with the spots that you can add in the middle easily making the tree of life now it's very floody but as you can see it does light it up a lot of area in front of you and the main light here that's on now it is zoomable as you can see so you can zoom it in making that across that park there and the other one and it's very red up here in my hand so it's like red all around below you so you get some softer non blinding light by your head here just to show you the range there so and we'll put that back so now we're going to show you the other lights and now you can see that those have more of a throw on them. There's no 
real spill on them. Those are straight spot lamps. And it is faintly making it across the park. Usually making the tree there. And we'll try over here. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and click all three of them on. And now you have all three of them on. As you can see, there's more of a spot there. You can see the spot in the beam there. And we'll go ahead and just pan around here. There's a large area of lighting that this can provide. Making that tree there. The famous tree of life. Not too bad a performance on this. Definitely throws out a lot of light. Now the batteries that come with it aren't the best, so if you got some better batteries, quality cells that is, um, definitely might get better. Uh, you'll definitely get better run time. Usually slew down in front of you. Got a good color temperature. All right. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed those night shots. This thing does pretty good. Performance is, is above average. Um, definitely want to say that the build quality is good. It's surprising that this is so light. Um, it wasn't uncomfortable to wear. I do have a couple of other ones uh, that are heavy on the front. Uh, this one here is light, uh, which is quite surprising now the pack on the back gets a little bit heavy after a while if you're carrying it on your head for hours at a time it's gonna get a little heavy until you get used to it now the zoom feature on this is pretty neat so if you need to see something in the distance while still having these as a flood as you can see it did real well the automatic on and off with the uh, light sensor here is a really neat plus so overall, this is a pretty decent headlamp. Now, I am currently working with the seller to get a discount code for my viewers. Uh, if when I am able to do that, I'm going to go ahead and update uh, the video in the comment section. And I'll make it a pin post and I'll post a discount code there to their Amazon store. Now again, I want to thank Street Cat for sending me this to review. All in all... The batteries are the only issue. The only con are the batteries, not the best batteries in the world. But in any case, the light does make up for it if you use the quality cells. And that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these type of headlamps to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.